Hello beautiful people of YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, I am Nick, and on this channel I ride motorcycles, I work on motorcycles, I vlog, and I travel around the country a fair amount. So, uh, the channel has grown a lot over the uh, past week, week and a half, so uh, I want to thank every one of you who've taken the time to subscribe, and if you are one of the 85% of people who are watching my videos and not subscribing, I encourage you to go ahead and bang that subscribe button. Uh, I I am eternally grateful to each and every one of you subs, and uh, I just I can't thank you guys enough, and it just it means so much to me. But let's hop into this video. So it is currently snowing outside, so I am doing a voiceover on some old footage. But uh, I wanted to talk about how I feel that Indian is underserving the market now what I'm what I mean by that is I don't necessarily feel that Indian is quite producing the bikes that we the consumer are wanting obviously you know the bikes they're producing are selling so they're doing something right but I think that there's a huge portion of the market that is going underserved or unserved because of, in a sense, negligence on Indians' part. So currently they have two lines of bike. They have the touring bikes, and they have the scouts. Now the touring bikes are all essentially the same bike, just with more features as you go up in price, with the exception of the Challenger. The Challenger is a new frame, new engine. And the scouts, both the 60 and the standard, are the same bike just the engine goes up in displacement and it picks up an extra gear on the uh, on the standard scout versus the 60 so where I think Indians kind of underserving us is not having a bike in the middle a Dyna esque bike and the reason I think they're underserving us there is the big touring bikes, not everybody's looking to spend twenty to thirty thousand dollars on a bike. Okay, cool, you can buy a scout. But the scout, it's a very small bike, and most of us are not gonna be happy on it. Like, yeah, the scout has some pretty good performance. But uh it's small, it's got a three gallon tank on it. It's there's most of us are not going to comfortably ride two up on that bike. And I think that if we had a Dyna-esque bike in the middle, somewhere between that thirteen five to fifteen thousand dollar range on the price, I think that um, that is where we could be better served. A nice mid-sized bike, you could put the Thunderstroke engine in it. You could even put the new Power Plus liquid cooled engine in there. And. Uh, I think that they would sell a lot of bikes in that price range. And uh, when I think of what they could do in that price range, the bike that comes to my mind was the, uh, the Victory Vegas Highball. I always thought that bike was like, I don't know, I've always loved that bike. <laughs> I've always loved that bike. And I could see that bike selling a lot if, uh, Polaris was to bring back a bike of that that genre, they could still keep their, you know, their styling in a sense, because they, the, Polaris, with the Indian name, they're loving the retro styling. They could still do the retro styling, but kind of bump it up to a 1960s style, which is kind of what the victories were rocking there at the end. And, I mean, we're talking a light bike, 500, 550 pounds, that's putting out some serious torque that would just be a complete blast to ride. But if you and your old lady wanted to leave town for the weekend, you could strap a bag to the sissy bar and be gone, and it would do everything you needed it to. Also, a bike in this price range needs to be highly customizable. This is where Indian, I think, is hurting. Also, is in, is there's not a lot of stuff you can do to customize your Indian. Um, some of the aftermarket brands are starting to uh, pick up making stuff like the big ones Karyakin and as you guys know I'm not a fan of Karyakin products 
but they're using a proprietary bar setup, their diameter of their bars. So that's limiting grips, that's limiting bar choices. And this is all stuff that, as motorcycle riders, we all like to change on our bikes. And on the Victories, they used a standard diameter bar, a standard diameter grip. Now, when I'm saying standard, I'm using Harley-Davidson as the standard. And whether you like it or not, when it comes to customizing bikes, Harley-Davidson is the standard. You can take a catalog and you can build an entire motorcycle using Harley-Davidson design parts, but none of them are made by Harley-Davidson. Like, you, you can get a frame, you can buy an engine, you can buy every single piece you need, and not a single piece of it came from Harley-Davidson. Now, I'm not saying that's what Polaris needs to do, <laughs> but um, I think that uh, they do need to make some of their bikes more customizable. And, you know, they, they have the Scout Bobber, but I would like a little bit bigger of a bike as a bobber. And again, that's where that Victory Vegas just keeps popping in my in my mind because it's kind of got the bobbed fenders, and uh, it's just a really cool bike. So these are just kind of some of my opinions, uh, and as you guys know, opinions aren't worth really anything. But uh, I'm curious, what do you guys think? Like, should Indian get into a mid-sized bike market? Uh, I think Harley Davidson's done really well in that market with the uh, Softail Standard. I believe that bike starts at what, 13.5, 13.6, somewhere like that. And it kind of gives you a, a blank canvas to build the Harley that you want without paying for anything that you don't want. And right now with Indian, that's just not a possibility. And uh, yeah, I think it would be a good direction for, for the company to go I think it would be a uh, it, it, it would be a nice thing for us the consumers to have more choices so I guess I'm gonna start to wrap this up uh, if you like this video go ahead give me a thumbs up if you dislike this video give me a thumbs down comment below what are your opinions do you think Indians doing a good job do you think they need to come out with a mid-sized bike um, I'm really interested in what you guys have to say. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you guys next week, and I'm out.